Hey guys, it's Otto here. Um, what I want to do in this video, guys, is to show you a way that you can send customized Loom outreach videos at scale. Okay, so anybody who's doing um, video outreach for your agency or your consultancy uh, or whatever service business that you've got, you would have run into the problem of trying to make sure that all of your outreach is as personalized as it possibly can be. Um, and trying to incorporate Loom videos into that outreach, but not finding a way that you can actually do it at scale. So when I first started sending Loom videos years and years ago, um, I was having to do everything manually. And then you get to a point where you realize that spending an hour to send four or five Looms is not uh, an efficient use of your time as a business owner. So what I want to do in this video is just show you how you can send um, the, it's the the limits are really indefinite. You could send a thousand customized Loom videos a day to a thousand new businesses, um, and this is exactly how you can do it. I'm going to show you in this video. Um, what I'm going to do uh, here is just tell you exactly what you need in order to be able to do this. Okay, so you need to have a leads list, preferably on Google Sheets, where you have um, at a minimum the target client or target customer's website URL. Okay, so www.amazon.com, whatever it might be. Uh, you need to have a way to record a script. So this is your uh, what you're gonna be saying over the video that you're sending over to these potential clients. Uh, for Mac users, you can use voice memos. You're gonna need a macro recorder, which I'll uh, uh, explain how to use in a second. You're obviously gonna have to use Loom um, as your async video recorder. You're gonna have to have a good external mic and then an email service provider. Um, preferably not Gmail, but here's just uh, the logos there for an example. And you're going to need a way to be able to send uh, emails out at scale with personalized variables in the messaging. Okay, And the reason for that, um, I'll explain in a minute. So what I'll do is I'm going to show you the automation now and throw that up on the video. Um, and then I'm going to jump back onto this screen because it's hard to uh, to actually show you the physical recording of what's going on to two desktops here. So. Um, I'll throw that up now. It's Otto from Acquisition Partner. Now, this video is just a test video, uh, but this is a video sales letter VSL. And in here, you're going to talk about what you're seeing on the potential client's website. Um, it talks then a little bit about your case studies and the results that you're able to get there, put forward your specific unique offer, and then finish up with a nice roundabout call to action to get them to book a call with you or with your team. So, this file is just uh, an audio file, this is just a test for the purpose of recording this video. All right, guys, this, this is all uh, automated, so I'm not doing it uh, myself. So it's gonna keep going. It's gonna get rid of these tabs here. Then it's going to go down to the next website. There we go. I'm just going to select the website, open a new tab, and then record another customized Loom video. Also from acquisition partner now this video is just a test video so same same script that it's running and in here you're going to talk about what you're seeing on the potential clients website um, it talks then a little bit about your case studies and the results that you're able to get there put forward your specific unique offer and then finish up with a nice roundabout call to action to get them to book a call with you 
in your team. So this file is just uh, an audio file. This is just a test for the purpose of recording this video. All right, so it's going to do the same here. It's going to rename the Loom video. Again, this is all automated. And it's going to enter it into the cell there and then move on to the next one. All right, guys, so what you would have seen from that is a, uh, a recording I took on my phone of both my monitors um, and how each of them are being used for this customized uh, Loom outreach, okay? Um, so like I said, just before showing you the automation, you need to have uh, a list of leads, you need, you need to have your macro recorder, you need to record a VSL script, have a way to record the videos and send them, preferably via Loom, um, an external mic, and then a way to send emails at scale. Um, we're not gonna go into warming up domains and user accounts here. If you blast out a load of emails to random recipients and you've not warmed your domains, then obviously you will damage your sender reputation and all sorts of nasty things will happen. Um, so what I want to do is actually uh, take you through uh, exactly how you can record a uh, uh, an automation like this. Now, I will just minimize this here. And what I'll do is minimize this window. And we're gonna bring all of these assets into this one place, okay. So, when you've download, downloaded the macro recorder, you add it into your applications if you're using Mac, and then it's pretty straightforward. Um, you have to hit record before you do anything. So what the macro recorder is gonna do is basically record all of your uh, keystrokes, um, all of your mouse movements, um, and every single action that you're gonna take on the specific desktop. This is the exact macro for the automation that I just showed you. So if anybody wants to actually get hold of this um, so you don't have to set this up yourself, just send me a, send me a message and I'll, I'll be happy to send it over to you. Um, but basically, once you hit record, it's, it's going to note down every single action you take. So whether that's clicking your VSL script here, whether that's clicking over here in your uh, leads list, whatever it might be, um, this is what the macro recorder is going to do. Now, like I said, what you need to do in the first instance is to record a VSL script. Now, depending on your uh, target clients and whoever you're reaching out to, um, your script is obviously going to differ. Okay, So what I did in the example I showed you was just put in a placeholder script for a VSL, you don't want to make these any longer than sort of three, three-ish minutes. Um, and something that we sort of uh, are big proponents of is, is not blasting out random links to uh, customized looms when you don't actually know the recipient that you're sending it to. Uh, it's best to build a bit of a relationship with them first, generate some engagement and get uh, a micro commitment from them before you actually send it over. You'll find that your engagement rates, uh, clicks and opens will be much higher if you do it that way with your outreach campaigns. So. What I'll do here is I'm going to start a new macro. I've got my script already recorded. Now you can just go onto voice memos and literally record your voice into your microphone, save it, and then use that if you want. Like I say, I'll be using the VSL template that I've recorded here. And the way we start this is by going to a new file. You simply have to click record and now just remember every action you take is going to be recorded so what we recommend doing is relying uh, as little as possible on your mouse movements and clicks uh, and more so on keyboard shortcuts i'll list the main sort of keyboard shortcuts below if you're using chrome these are literally just like opening new tabs uh, selecting the url and copying it up here without having to manually click because if you manually click uh, and then play back your um, macro recording. If there's a delay on the website uh, or whatever it might be, there's something happens on your computer when you try and run the program, um, it's gonna make everything out of whack. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just run through this really quick here. So just click uh, record. We start off by using a keyboard shortcut there to go to the first cell, cell A1. We uh, control C to copy the link, uh, command tab to open a new tab, control C, uh, V to paste the link and enter. We then do our shortcut to open Loom. 
Okay, so uh, what I realized is I did the shortcut for Loom, but I was actually recording a Loom to uh, record this video, so it canceled that. So what you then do is is you um, press your keyboard shortcut, uh, which is Shift Command L on the Mac uh, to open up and start recording Loom. You then do the same Shift Command D to draw on your canvas. Um, I can literally do that here like now, and I can draw wherever I need to. And then the same sh keyboard shortcut to cancel it. Uh, what we were then doing was going on their website and scrolling and you want to make sure that your scrolls aren't too severe okay so this website in this window format is relatively long um, we can't guarantee that every single website that the macro runs for is going to be like that um, so just keep the movement short and again what you want to do is keep your uh, custom drawings relatively generic okay so whatever website we're on it's not like you're highlighting specific elements of the page that are going to change uh, when you record when the macro records for the next website and the next website so keep the uh, keep the scrolls short keep the annotations generic you then command L to um, uh, cancel the loom and then what we do is we go command 3 to get into uh, the tab here, double click here, type in whatever you want to do. Um, okay, Command L to copy the link, Command C, uh, Command L to select the link, Command C to copy it, Command 1 to go back to your first tab, and then what we do is uh, FN Command left takes us to cell A1, move into the right hand cell, Control V to copy the loom link. And there you go, that's how you do it. So I'm, what I'm gonna do here is just stop uh, the macro. What I missed out there was um, during that time when you click record on the Loom video, you then play your script, let that run, give it a little bit of a gap between uh, closing, shutting down and stopping your Loom video. Uh, and then what you wanna make sure, once you've um, copied in your link here and then you've gone into each individual tab and uh, command W to close them. You then come back to voice memos here and you make some labored clicks here to get as close as you can to the end. And then for good measure, click in the center of the back 15 seconds mark a few times. And this will make sure that your VSL script is basically back to uh, its starting point before the macro repeats. And what it's gonna do is exactly what I showed you earlier in the video. It's gonna copy and paste all of these brand new Loom videos uh, into the list here. So I'm gonna stop this here. What you want to make sure you do with the macro recorder is re set your repeats here. Okay, so on the free version, you get, I think it's nine repeats. If you pay the annual licensing fee, which I think is super reasonable, um, it's basically unlimited. So you can have, thousands of websites and, and send thousands of customized Loom videos to them. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned, and I'm just gonna go on to the tab here, is that when you're recording your Loom, you want to make sure that your webcam is turned off. So in this case, I'm recording this video on Loom. Um, what you can do on your Loom settings is actually set a profile image. So I'll do it here and the way that you want to arrange this is don't don't put your brand logo or something um, generic. Don't leave it blank. You want to make it look like it's you recording the video live. OK, and the reason for that is when you add the Loom link into your email service provider, whether you're sending through Gmail or another uh, platform, when the Loom thumbnail, when you copy the link into the body copy of the email, the Loom thumbnail will pop up and the recipients will see that uh, there's actually a person behind the Loom, um, i.e. you, and you're actually reaching out to them on a personalized level, which will, um, in doing that, will increase their engagement and their sort of desire to click the video. Okay, so I think for now, let's see if this will let me go back to my face. I think for now that's it. Now what I'm gonna do is make some other videos about how you can send these uh, Loom links out en masse to specific email recipients. Um, you can obviously use a, a macro recorder macro to do that, but for now, um, best thing to do is, is record your script, get a leads list, um, download the macro recorder, uh, the free trial, and then 
rinse and repeat basically, create as many customized looms as you can, and then plug and play them into your outbound email strategy. So hopefully that helps you guys, anybody who's doing loom outreach at scale, and uh, let me know below if you've got any questions or comments. All right, cheers guys.